when, when we do a, a bulk cricket flush, the, there's a couple of things that we need. Bucket, water, and some dish soap. Uh, we use a lemon scented dish soap and the reason for the lemon is two fold. One, the lemon acts as an irritant to the mole cricket which drives them to the surface and two, the soap plugs the uh, breathing ports on the insects which also causes them to come to the surface because we're looking to actually identify what type of mole cricket it is and as well as the uh, development stage that they're at, whether they're overwintering adults still carrying eggs or they're freshly hatched eggs and at what instar the young nymphs are in. Uh, with regard to how much soap to use in the water, there really is no percentage. We just give it a good healthy squirt and stir it up with our hand and then pour it onto the site. One of the things that's important to remember with flushing mole crickets is that they dig egg chambers pretty deeply. So one of the first things you want to do is try and identify where the tunnel is going and sort of take your finger or a screwdriver or something and open that tunnel chamber system up. So when you pour the soap material down it, it has a chance to flood the chambers that are below the ground. And that's one of the key things to make sure that you do in order to drive the mole cricket to the top. Gotcha. Once you make the application of the flushing material, the results are generally quickly seen. Uh, the nymphs, if they're present, will come to the top very quickly because they're not of adult size to be able to tunnel substantially. But the, the key to getting the larger adults that are in the ground to the surface is continue to soak the ground, let it drive downwards, and then flush it again and let it drive downwards because you're trying to get the material deep enough to the mole cricket itself, the adult mole cricket, so that the, the lemon irritant starts to drive into the top and then he becomes covered in the soapy material which doesn't allow him to breathe so it's the combination of the two materials that really allow him to get to the surface so that we really are trying to get after the adults because we want to check the egg cycle.